Welcome back to the Ride Boat YouTube channel. And if you're new, this is where we ride fast, we ride smart, but we ride bold. And we are back after Thanksgiving with another Montrose Long 8 o'clock. Spoiler, I finished up with the whole group, y'all. I finished with the whole group. I don't have enough footage to show all that. I did get pop on Winston, but I climbed myself back with, to the group, man. And then I finished with the group. It's a good thing. So this here is the, about to enter into the kitchen. Um, go fast right here in purple. In this little two mile, two to three mile section, they kind of took the front and kind of chilled it out. Normally, it'll be full gas before we even get to the top of the hill. Yep, we had Justin Williams starting Montrose from the very beginning. I guess he needed to get his warm up in because he sure was doing some attacks before we even got to the split. That's 45 minutes before we get to this section here. So, I wasn't ready, but we're climbing up this, the kitchen, and I wanted to automatically kind of settle in, find my cadence, and uh, try to stay seated as long as possible. Um, I've been getting stronger, man. I've been really getting stronger. Uh, training been treating me well. So right here, I should have went with Justin to the right, and I didn't. I get caught behind these two riders, and I couldn't automatically go left because of so many riders, and their momentum was still carrying them up the hill. And my momentum kind of changed. So instantly, a lot of people would probably like, give up and start spinning and slow down tremendously but i had to like really dig mentally to like nah keep pushing keep pushing even though your momentum switched stay on it keep the pressure um and then like even here today kind of felt different because i kind of felt like they were going to continue because right now i'm not in the front i'm like mid-pack so Justin and, and Corey and them is in the front. Saved by the light. And you know, they got held at the red light. And but if that light was green, yo, cats with it. This this momentum would have continued. I don't know if I probably would have been able to recover from it, but saved by the light again. But I need to do a better job next time of uh get into at least top 20 going up the kitchen and then falling back just a little bit to recover um, but I'm still here I'm still here so yeah so we about to come to this red light and um, yeah, I'm gonna get my recovery on it and psh, you gonna see after we hit the light and we hit the little descent like if it was a green light <laughs> Man, game over if he didn't stay with the pack <laughs> instantly. But now nah, this week was uh, Thanksgiving week. And um, your boy, I think I did four rides this week. Out of those four rides, three of them, which included this one, were hard, hard rides. Um, but each ride, all four rides, I did 60, 62, 67. And I believe this one was 60 miles as well. Um, so I was kind of feeling it in the legs, but man, my training been having me good. Like I didn't, I'm surprised that I was with the group literally to the end. Um, even though I've got, like I said, I got popped, but I climbed myself back to the group. Um, like I said, look, we're about to hit 30 miles an hour. And if it wasn't for that light, if you're not with the pack, they would have kept pushing from here extremely kept pushing um we get hit with this light here so we end up stopping but <clears throat> i'm here mantra's long when you make that decision to hit, you know go right after the split is is all focus like your goal should be hanging with the group um so i'm here mantra's long 
My legs are screaming at me, I'm screaming back at the legs like, nah, we can do this. They screaming back at me like, bruh, what are we doing? <laughs> but we here. Um, you can see Corey Williams right there. I can tell he about to take his jersey off. And it's about to be full gas. Justin for the hit the front. And because of what I noticed from Justin this morning, he been doing some attacks. So I know it's coming. I just know it's coming. I just gotta be ready for that punch and not mentally like get like I gotta let my mind control my body not my body control my mind what I mean by that is when somebody do an attack and the group starts going instantly as some people their body reacts first and then they overdo it your heart rate shoot up now you got pop for the rest of the day so for me it's mental in the sense okay here go the first punch don't react super hard sustain it and then carry on from there so uh what is this we about to hit the first left and i can see justin ramping it up right now to the left and he does this attack right here and this is a short little four percent kicker you can see him look he hit the light hit the left he already created a gap already so i'm like okay here goes the first punch i don't need to punch it and do a thousand watts just sustain it do some do a good effort sustain this just get to the top of this hill um because then it, it's gonna level off and then it's gonna be like a three i think three or four percent descent and then recover again so for my for me my whole goal was to find my recovery spots a lot of these rides sometimes people don't figure out when to recover when to put an effort in how much effort and then when to recover um you can continuously do a ride the same route and then eventually find your recover but for me it's more of what if i don't know the road or the ride you know the route i want to be able to learn how to recover from potentially the group of what the group is doing if the group is slowing down then find my recovery if i see that the group is about to do a punch put in that effort so i move in here i know we about to make a right turn and i want to get myself in a good position i told my man to the left i'm on the inside the little thing right there in the curve i couldn't take it tight um because it was the ground was unlevel so nice little carry my momentum straight into this i know it's a little slight little um a little roller and uh, I wanted to carry my momentum, but I can tell, I can feel the energy from the group that as soon as we get to this top, they're gonna continue to keep punching. So I didn't want to slow down, but you see how the group is right now, all bottled up, but Justin is still in the front. He still got his gap, look at that. He still got his gap, so they're gonna still be chasing him down. And I just gotta, you know, 450 watts, hold that, and go through this little roundabout until we get to, to the next little turn. Just continuing, and I mean, again, the training. Been doing a lot of climbing, um, sustaining efforts. We talking about up to 3,600 feet of elevation with the average of a 5%. Um, just locking in a certain wattage and just carrying that all the way up to 3,600 feet of elevation. Um, pretty much my zone three and zone four, that's what I've been mostly focused on. So made it over here to this turn. I know again, boom, there's gonna be a recovery here. It's a little descent. 
Everybody's gonna kind of chill out for a moment. It's a descent. And look who we got here today. Straight in the middle in the paint, Pahati himself. Um, it's excited to see him come out and, and hop in these group rides, man. I think that cat was out of the country. It's like probably two days ago. He came back, next day did a little, you know, community ride with the Bahati and then, you know, he here this morning. So it's dope to see him come out and he was doing a lot of attacks. Like, if you keep watching this, man, watch for the pink jersey. You'll see Bahati go to the front, do his attack, and then he'll come back and, and chill and do it all over again. I don't know what was going on here. I know I seen a car to the left, almost hit my boy Elijah, but hey, bike skills, you just gotta, <laughs> man, have some bike handlers and, and skills and not and learn how to not to crash into people. So, coming up, the next effort is gonna be uh, Hammer Alley. Um, and that's the one, the little three and a half percenter and the effort is is that's you know the last video that's pretty much where i got my pop and i had to try to climb myself back but my goal is to hang with the group all the way through and this is a two minute two minute effort like you got to figure out what your power is for two minutes and hold that hold that power for two minutes and i think my average was 389 for this segment alone it kind of got i kind of got boxed in here i didn't want this position so again find a little pocket slid in there and just got into where i can position myself i knew he was going this guy right here in front of me let a gap open i didn't hit the power super hard I just sustained it, see how the, the field was going to react, and just slot it in, get into a draft, find out where my, my, my zone is for this segment, my power, and just held it. Held the cadence in that position, and just held on for dear life. Because here, I keep telling y'all, this is where it breaks people. People, you can see, like people are falling back, and but these same people, before we even got to the turn, move to the front, which is a good idea. Move to the front if you know you're gonna end up falling back. Um, but at the same time, <clears throat> people that's in my position, trying to hold a certain wattage, we gotta watch out for those people falling back because that creates the gaps. Um, so you, you see, I'm holding 400 watts. I'm like keeping my cadence and look solid 80 just lock it in lock it in and just hold it 400 watts because we on three three and a half percent and it's going to kick up just a little bit this is where people start popping right here and i'm like look 10, 15 more seconds and we'd be at the top. Hold that. 10, 15 more seconds. Hold it. And then eventually be able to recover. And would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? I made it with the group to the top. Not getting popped. Not getting popped. And one of the things um, in my training with my coach, Anthony Freeman, shout out to him, is working on my core, my breathing, and me being able to recover quick. So I know I'm with the group. I can let people, you know, fly in front of me, cool. I'm gonna slot in, uh, slot right here, right behind Justin Williams. And this is the descent. So I know I get my recovery and I can still hold down power. Recover and still hold down power is good. As you see, Bahati's coming right back. He was in the front the whole time, probably doing 500 watts, holding 500. 
but he came back, goes to the you know mid pack and recover. And you gonna see him come back to the front, do a little damage to the people's legs. So again, right now I'm not I'm not reacting. I see Justin to the right. He's gonna do another attack right now, and. I want y'all to pay attention to the guy right here in the purple. He does a lot of effort, but his effort is in the wind. He is sprinting out of the saddle into the wind, no draft, no nothing. He's putting a lot of effort in. And I wasn't going to go with it. I just stayed right here because I know the people are going to chase Justin down. And I'm just going to slide in, let people do the work. And then I'll find my moment where I got to put my effort in. That's that finding that well balance of recovery and effort. So the guys start moving up in front of Elijah right here. And you can see right here to the right, to the purple guy, he didn't go anywhere. All that energy, Elijah flicks me. This is where I got the energy to pl close the gap. Close the gap, come up in here. But I keep my momentum <clears throat> and just keep going and just slot in. And right now I'm sitting like top six right now with Justin and Corey Williams up in the front. And I think who's pushing is my boy, Brandon. Brandon is up in the front holding it down right now. So Corey gonna do this little soft attack, right? He keeps, he just keeps straight. Everybody else pulls off to the right. I wanted to go with that, but I wasn't too sure. Wasn't a hundred percent confident and that's okay. Um, I'm still learning. I'm still, you know, doing what I'm learning these these efforts. Um, so I'm like, who's gonna close this gap? I look to the right. Another go fast rider goes, and I'm like, all right, slot right behind him. Pull me up. Let's go. So I'm thinking this is a descent, and I'm gonna carry a whole lot of speed coming down here. I can literally do 45 miles an hour coming down this hill, but they kind of slowed up a little bit. I wasn't looking forward to that because <laughs> I need the speed to get to this third or the second climb of the day, which is the third hard effort. Um, I see Justin and Corey, they switch spots. Again, Justin comes to the front. He working on his off season attacks. <laughs> and um, he takes the front and, and you know does his little pull. So, but I am glad that I'm in this position here because already we did two hard efforts and here's the third one, that hill right there. So this climb gets up to like 7%. After all these hard efforts and stuff, your legs are taxed. Remember, I've already been doing a lot of work this week. So I'm glad I'm in the front. So just in case, you know, I get tired, I can fall back to the pack. So that's what I do. And, <clears throat> you know, I do a little punch sprint, get up here. Not too much though. I don't want to do it too much of an effort. This is up to 700 watts. And then I sit back down in the saddle and I start spinning, cadence, shoot up. Find that groove and I already know, I don't want to punch it too hard. Um, because I need to recover right after the top of this hill. So I just wanted to slot back. And you can see Justin right here to the left. Same thing. Us big guys, man. We got power. We don't got sustainable power for like long climbs and stuff like that. But you just got to know how to work it. Go to the front. Fall back to the back of the pack. And you still with them. Get that draft. Recover. Keep pushing. And that's exactly what just happened right here. I was in the front, now I'm towards the back of the pack, and right now mindset is just recover, 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 recover. Let it level off, recover real quick, and put your foot to the pedal. Because it's going to get, this is where it gets technical. The rollers and a little bit of technical. Um, it is good to be in the front. You should be in the front um, because of the technical roundabouts and you guys will see that. So I already seen a gap with him. He's going to pull off to the left 
And again, I, I got to get out of this win. It's, we're going into a headwind right now. So got to get in this drive and stay with the group. So I'm not 100% recovered. I'm about a good 65% recovered. Um, but I'm like, look, just maintain and, and stay here. Stay here for right now. You don't got to do too much. You don't got to do a hard effort to try to get around everybody, try to get to the front. Not right now. So you for to come around the first little technical roundabout and um, your best bet is just find a position and stick with it for right now until it can clear up. So I just stayed right here, hold my line, go around this, and now it's gonna start picking up. Cause there's a little nice little roller and they can kick your butt if you ain't ready. So they, whoever's in the front, they picked it up. And I'm like, all right, here we go. But I just know we going this fast. I need to continue to hold this momentum. So I know he's going to die. The one in the blue, he's got, he created the gap. So I'm like, hold my momentum. And my boy Juan, I don't know why he stayed there. He should have went around him. But hopefully he sat on my wheel. But that gap opened up. And I'm like, carry my momentum. We're in the headwind. Here comes the little roller that can hurt you. If you ain't ready, just got to get to the top and then there's going to be another descent where I can fully 100% recover. But my legs are screaming. My legs is like, yo, what are you doing? You know what we did this week? <laughs> like it's Thanksgiving holiday week, bro. Like we need to chill. So... This is the descent, another roundabout. Again, it's all about positioning. So I move up, get into the right position, carry my momentum, go around this roundabout. And hey, we right back here, we still here. I know in this position here, y'all can, you know, fact check me if you want, go look at the other video. By myself, I know I can probably hold 28 to 30 miles an hour down this descent and then a straightaway. So the goal is to hurry up and get towards the front as much as possible because I know they're gonna do more than 30 miles an hour. And I wanna be in that draft to save as much energy as possible. And we're right here, right back in it. So far, if y'all like what y'all hear, man, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, during this race season, man, I'm not going to do full uh, commentary on the race. Um, if you like to see that, there's going to be a special subscription for that um, for this season. So subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Right now, my mindset is move up. Again, you see Bahati. He was in the front. Man, falling back to recover and he gonna do his attack again you'll see so my mind was move up move up move up still got like 25 more riders 30 riders in front of you move up so you can see we doing 33 miles an hour and I'm only doing a like a hundred 200 watts if I was mean by myself, I probably would have been doing nothing less than 300 going 30. Especially with this headwind, it was kind of windy a little bit too. That's Brandon right here to the right. And um, yeah, so now we leveled off and people gonna kind of just not chill, but just keep a steady pace. This is Garbo right here. I told him to slot in. Hey man, it's just respect, man. That man did a flyer as well. Hey, slot in, man. Get in, get in and, and stay in. Just respect. So
So if you're ever with the group and you get in this position here, start doing your recovery, take your gel. Um, I think that was the one thing I thought about. Um, I took a gel before the kitchen, but I should have took a gel right here and I didn't. But this is at this moment of the, the ride, you should be taking your gels, drinking your water, trying to fully uh, recover. As you can see, my heart rate is at 140. <laughs> 140. That's too low. Too low. And keep it up just a little bit. Because, I mean, having your heart rate too, too low can hurt you when it starts to spike up quick. So, look at Corey on his phone. That man chilling. He already know what's about to happen. He for the set of damage to all of us. So, now we just we picking it up. Now we for the going to this pretty much as what is considered I, I would consider like the second half of the ride. Um because I think the next big effort is Winston. There's a small little roller before that, but yeah, it's just small. It's just fast around that time. But before we get to, I think Winston is that, if you made it through this and you already feeling like, oh man, I'm tired. When you get to Winston, yeah, it's gonna knock you out. That's, that's what, what can happen. So, proper recovery. If y'all didn't notice, Bahati already went to the front. <laughs> he recovered, goes to the front. And between him and Justin, they just been switching back and forth, man. And I'm like, you guys, you y'all attacks, bruh. Man. So, Bahati's up in the front. It's getting a little fast now. I think somebody said up. And I was about to move up and close the gap until my, my man right here in the stage jersey, he started moving up. So I wanted to slide behind him, but he, for some reason, he kept swerving back and forth a little bit. I didn't know what, what he was doing. I wanted to go left and go up, but then eventually I see riders <clears throat> start falling back. And I wanted to go right, and then as soon as I start about to go up past him, he's motoring up in front of me. So I'm I'm not trying to fight. That's too much energy. Um, I'm just, if I'm gonna make a move, I'm gonna make a, a good move. Uh, so I, I just know at this position here, I, I need to get in a better position. So I wanted to go to the right, but as you can see, there's, there ain't nowhere for me to go. Uh, so I slow down just a little bit, see Justin go to the right. So I'm like, okay, cool. He gonna open up that space. I'm gonna go to the right. Because you wanna get a position into this next right turn. Uh, this is that little small little roller. So I know what wheels I can hold and stay behind. So I let Corey come up and I just lock behind his wheel um and just stay behind him um i mean that's a proper will to trust between him and bahati so stayed here and just hold this position um, because we're gonna come in spicy around this this little right turn coming up so leave a comment below man if this is interesting good information if you're not from cali you plan on coming out here and try to do a montrose and stuff like that man leave a comment below um and uh i'll try my best man if y'all want to help me out and get a better action camera i think there's the gopro 11 12 and i think the newest one is a uh, ace pro i'm hearing that's pretty good as well yo if y'all want to do a donation man hit me up in a message and uh, I definitely would love to get longer videos. I'm still on a GoPro 8. <laughs> so, so this is this little roller. Um, again, if you've been working hard or if your legs are hurting, 
this right here can tax you as well like don't these little rollers can hurt you if you don't really mentally you know control your body so i just state my position man i just i know we for to go up in this little kicker this little roller right here um i don't know how to react man we got to watch out for cars and when there's a bunch of us cars don't care so Corey goes up riders start falling backwards i just keep my same momentum to keep the same power just stay in, in the saddle move up and at this moment i, I wanted to move up so <clears throat> just being patient of where what gap is going to open and like this gap started open one he moves to the right so i want to slot behind bahati but one start moving to the left so i move to the left just to get some space and again i'm not slowing my momentum so i kind of roll up on bahati and i see his body and he's to start attack so i was like i'm not gonna let that one go i'm gonna go with him but this right here took me by surprise this man dips his shoulder Woo! go straight in and all i can be like is like bruh i was not ready <laughs> like he wasn't ready <laughs> i was not ready so i thought he was gonna keep coming hey safety first this car we don't know what he was about to do you know bahati you know safely got on the right side we just slowed it down you know killed the attack uh, but i was ready though i mean <clears throat> he created the attack i was gonna go with him um and not put in that extremely hard effort but just a sustainable effort where if i when i catch up to him he could just slot right behind um that is a good and could be a hurtful situation as you see justin takes his attack him and bahati be switching and because what's coming up is winston hill so you got to be mindful of the efforts uh, that you create for yourself because you do a hard effort before Winston it's a wrap when we get to Winston because that little I mean it's a depending on what type of rider you are it can be a 45 second I guess 35 second 45 second climb or it can be a minute to a minute and a half climb but is that six percent six seven percent so like that's taxing that can hurt you because the the field don't stop when they get to the top they motor down the descent so right now i'm just trying to balance my effort and watching this over again i'm looking at my cadence i think my cadence is a little too high but my heart rate is too low or you know is that a reasonable position but i think i should have lower my cadence into a harder gear and just maintain that at that moment because i'm doing a hundred and some cadence and this is just a one percent so lesson learned this is why i record the stuff that i do so i don't know what was going on right here so just getting out of traffic and staying with the flow but i just know winston is here justin and corey they already created a gap i'm definitely not for to try to bridge that gap right before we for to get into the winston climb um <clears throat> but i do want to keep myself again to the front of the climb i mean the front of the field i'm sorry um, I tell a few guys get out of that area because there's a parked car right there on the other side of the, the white line. So give them some space. And um, now we for the get ready to come up on this Winston climb. So I'm like, I already know I still feel my legs and I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it. So I need to stay up here in the front as much as possible so I can fall back behind the group. Um, so stage he does his attack uh, my man right here in the white he goes behind and i'm just i'm staying right here because this climb right here can can hurt you too i think it kicks up to like three percent 
um, yep, kicks up to 3%, and um, this was a scary moment. A man in the white, he goes all the way to the right, and I thought he was going to go into the curve, and I was like, whoa. So, <clears throat> at this moment right now, the kitchen is about to come. The next turn would be the kitchen. I'm trying to recover my legs, not more of my heart rate, but, you know, it's just my legs just feels heavy. It feels too heavy for this climb. That's just where I'm getting at. Um, so I'm just trying to maintain and it's like, man, I'm hurting. Like this might just be it. So, but I'm not for to go out without a fight, man. So I'm just slide into a good, reasonable gear that's proper for this climb. Like, Justin and them already hit the climb. <laughs> That's crazy. They already hit the climb. And, man, I wish I was up there. Going to this climb, I lost a little bit of momentum right here. But instantly, like, I already knew. I couldn't even get out the saddle. Like, I already knew my legs was hurting. And pretty much, man, that was the wrap right there. Um, this is what created you know, where I got popped. Um, but believe it or not, <laughs> I did climb back to the group um, after the second. So you got a descent right after this left turn. Um, and then you go through this little small chicane and then you got this long descent after that. But I did catch the group after that long descent. Um, if you like this video, man, again, follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the YouTube channel, Leave a comment, hit the thumbs up, the whole, sh you know, shebang, and uh, leave a comment and stuff. And um, man, just make sure y'all ride fast, y'all ride smart. Most of all, man, y'all ride bold. I'll catch y'all in the next episode.